Hey everyone, Screaming Geek Mia here. I'm Jerry the Geek. This video is uh, going to be a collection update talking about the, my January haul. But before we do, if you like physical media, if you like Blu-rays, 4Ks, DVDs, uh, if you like home theater, movies in general, uh, please check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on. So let's just jump into my uh, collection update here from January. We're going to start out with some uh, titles I got from Walmart. Uh, first one I actually got online, I got the the Martian with Matt Damon. Basically I got this one, my, my wife ordered something else and we needed to add something to get the free shipping. So I was looking through my 4Ks on my wish list and found a cheaper one. And it wasn't until I ordered and got it, I didn't realize there's actually a uncut version of this available. It was like, oh, whatever. I doubt I'll double dip over an uncut version. This is fantastic, which I'll be doing a review of this soon, so keep your eye out on that. Now, these next ones I got from Walmart, but I actually got them in store. Last weekend, I was at a local Walmart. Pretty bad when uh, this Walmart's an hour away and I, we can start local. That is our closest Walmart. But I was back and I was just browsing. I didn't plan on buying any movies. And out in the aisle in the, the standee they had, they had some... Uh, up above the standee, it had, said it had the price at $16.98. And there wasn't a whole lot in the standee. Had, had a couple 4Ks and some Blu-rays and whatnot. And I'm like, but then, down on the stand itself, it was kind of divided up into three sections. And it had those little, uh, the little flip numbers where they can change prices. And I said, $3.96. And underneath it said select on select titles. So I'm like, I was like, oh sure, that the price is gonna be for the DVDs and who knows what the price of the 4Ks are. One of them was uh, Anna. And it's a movie I've always wanted and I never picked up. So I seen a employee just standing a few feet away doing some shelf work. And I had him come over and was like, is this price right? And he actually, he grabbed it, he scanned it and he goes, yeah, it's three ninety six. I'm like, oh, okay. How about these down here? And I was, they had two other titles, and he scanned them, and it was all three ninety six. I'm like, okay, so I snagged them, and so I got Ken. I never even heard of this one, so I haven't checked this one out yet. And it's the Spy Who Dumped Me, another one I have no clue, but a four K movie for four dollars, yes. I will be doing a, a review. I watched Anna and it was I loved it. So I'll be doing a review of that here pretty soon. I'm not sure if someone screwed up or if it was just a special deal they had going because I had didn't have too many left. But I immediately I ran through, had to pick up some stuff from the grocery. I wanted to get out of the store as soon as possible before someone changed their mind because I felt like I was ripping them off. You know, I got home and showed the wife, I said, I know I'm not supposed to be buying movies, but at this price, I couldn't resist. Next up, I have one from uh, Amazon. Had a sale a while back. I got this, ordered this like the last week of December and came first week in January. Army of Darkness, and it's actually a steel book, which you could check out. I just did a review of this recently. And got this for, I think, 20 bucks. And uh, next one, I've got Halloween Ends. I uh, picked this up on eBay, got it for 15 bucks. Well, you know, at the time, I, was, you know, I, was, I just wasn't paying that $29, $30 for a new release. So I go online and look for those uh, sellers, you know, that keep the digital code and sell the movie. And so I saved a boatload of money on that one. Next up, we have a few I got from Grove. They had a sa uh, constantly buying from them. They're always having sales. And I got the 8 Mile uh, 4K and a steel book. I think I got it for fourteen ninety nine. You can check out a review of that as well. Next up, they had they had a three for thirty dollars sale. They're doing that quite often. Every few weeks, they uh, putting some up, and of course, more and more. There's not too many. Most of them I already have or don't want. But this time, I snagged a skyscraper. I did a review of this. You can check out as well. Next up, we have the Secret Life of Pets, and the Secret Life of Pets too. Seen the first one. I haven't watched the second one yet. Next up, we have a couple from I got from uh, Shout Factory. Got a uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. 
Now, normally I don't like paying full price for movies, especially if they're Shop Factory. But because this was going in and out of stock so quickly because, uh, you know, Vestron Video put out that set of 3, 4, and 5. So the first two Silent Night of the Nights have been in high demand. So I went ahead and I talked about that. I did a review of this and I talked about that. But yeah, I wanted to add this to the collection. But then I wanted to get the free shipping. You have to order $50 to get that. So I added roller coasters. For being a roller coaster fanatic, I've always wanted to have this in my collection. I'm not sure why I've always passed up one, but glad to finally add it. Now, the last, these last few, I picked up a Dollar Tree, which in one of my beginning of the year, I talked about I don't get too many from Dollar Tree anymore because I'm sure they're cheap, but just so many times they're bad movies, so I'm being more selective. But I had some time to kill. So I stopped in the Dollar Tree, and they actually had a, they only had a few Blu-rays. I usually don't look through the DVDs, being more nitpicky, just sticking with the Blu-rays. But this one, uh, Ride, I've never heard of this one. So it's actually from RLJE, which I've heard a lot about them. I, I don't think I've seen any of their movies yet. Another one from uh, RLJE is uh, Trek. Looks like a pretty good horror movie. I've never heard anything about. The Parts You Lose. Again, no, and I had no clue what it's about. Looks interesting. And the last one here is, has a uh, Lucas Tilf. He played the newest MacGyver, uh, Son of the South. Says uh, based on a true story. So definitely want to give that a look and see how it is. So that pretty much wraps it up for my uh, January haul. You know, not too many. I had 16 movies here. After a busy uh, October, November, and December. You know, definitely a slow month. Trying to watch the budget, watching, you know, wife making sure I'm not spending too much money. February will probably be about the same. I did order, did a pre, I did pre-order the Rocky collection, so looking forward to that. And just ordered a couple more from Grove. So I'm sure we'll probably get a few more this month. I have to wait and see, but then once tax time comes, maybe she'll let me order a few more. So uh, let me know below what you think and uh, what you picked up this past month. Uh, check out my other videos on my channel, like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on, and we'll see you soon. Geek out!